Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new on this channel, I'll be glad if you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. Trust me, you would not regret that decision. Okay, today I'll be talking about how I edit. No, I'll be showing you how I edit using KaiMaster like a pro. I mean like a pro, my smartphone only. Let's go. So, 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 here is KaiMaster application. I'll click on the plus sign to create a new video. Yep. It's a very sweet application trust me if you can use this application it's sweet it's sweeter than using InShot to me like it creates professional sh professional um, videos unlike InShirts. so I prefer to use kind master most times when I want it to look really really professional so but if you've not if you don't pay for the application you definitely leave the app with um, the watermark kind master watermark so I normally take it to InShirt to take off the watermark by cropping that's what I do. It's a hack, just my little hack. So let's start. Let's go. So I'm gonna go click on a Canva. Choose a Canva size. Just have three Canva sizes here: YouTube Story, Instagram Post, Instagram Story. So that's what you have. Basic. We have basically here. It's a very interesting app. Just concentrate. Just watch what I'm doing, and you'll be glad you did. Um. So I'll click on one. I pick. I clicked on Instagram Post. I like to I like to always put a platform where I'll work on so I'll be doing that right away click on media click on photo click on background pick a background I can just pick the black as I can change it I picked the black I'll click good you're okay click on the background you've picked go to color pick any color I like white so I pick I'll pick white pick white you come out of there you can extend it by dragging like something like in short to just hold it and pull down to where you want to then go back start from the beginning okay 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 now start from the beginning we're going to go to layers go to media go to video pick your video now i'll be using um this video that like i used in the in shot app so i'll just pick it from my gallery see there see you see cropping right here i've i've cropped it then i'm going to click good i'm going to click on it again just tap on it to move it i'm going to show you something right now i'll show you something right now so i have tapped on it move it just move it move it to one corner now I'll go back again i'm going to show you something just watch what i'm trying to do with the same cropping with the same cropping go to layers go to media now you can have two different videos at the same time on here now this is how i do video overlays um click a video click on a video pick a video okay let me just use the same video i was using let me use the same video i was using let me go not go too far go to cropping again um crop it look at mask click on that mask activate it. enable mask once you enable the mask uh, okay can you see the shape highlighted too? So you click on that shape, pick a shape, any shape. Okay, I wanted the circle, so I picked on the circle. Now, can you see the feather down there? Pull from that zero, touch the zero where you have. No, move it. Okay, let me move it first. I've moved it, moved it to one corner. I want to show you something. Okay, just follow what I'm doing. I'm going to click on that previous video, zoom it out, just zoom it out, you know, just zoom in, zoom it out. Good, good just zooming it out that's all i want to show you something i'll show you how i do overlays then i'll take the other one i'll zoom it in just by tapping on it and zooming in as we've done that's all just zoom in with your fingers then i'll go to cropping then i'll go to mask see it's already highlighted i'll click on the shape it's already round i picked around go to feather and push the feather front can you see that it has aligned with the well i call it aligned okay I'm sure you can see what's happening though um with the other video so you can't even see the margins i've taken off the margins uh, i've taken off the margin from the margin sorry I've taken off the margin from that video so you see how it looks right now it looks more professional it looks better i'm sure you know about this application but you've not really um noted this thing i just showed you right now i'm sure so let's do the trim cut slips now you go to click on trim okay move the video let's move the video so i can find where to trim can you see just highlighted since you've moved the video 
now can you see trim to the left of playhead it's if, you, if i click on that after highlighting a particular video can you see the one that is highlighted it will actually delete all the part from the um, beginning to the point where you see the red line it will delete it if i click on team trim to right a uh, of playhead it will delete from where you see that red line to the end of the video that's what's going to happen so i clicked on the split which has split the video into two split at playhead splits the video into two which is what i just did on that particular video i just split the video into two so you see this one feels a little bit more more easier than in short i just love this application it makes things easier for you now you can use the in animation on this video to put transitions here now let me show you okay let's just click on anyone let's use anyone what should we use what should we use what should we use sure let's try converge okay do you see what happened now can you see what happened can you see what happened okay let me show you how it looks uh out animation there's out animation so when the video is ending this is the way it goes out animation it's just showing you how the video when it's ending how it's going to close up so you can see this application is, is more interesting if you know how to use this app sorry if you know how to use this app here yeah. so let me show you what it looks like can you see that can you see that can you see that this is more interesting than um in short application because you have a whole whole lot to pick from so transitions here work on the background pick image which is that white background so i'm going to click on it right now let me show you how to transition let's trim let's sp split so you can see there's split and in insert freeze of frame so you can i can actually insert this particular frame that you're seeing on my screen at that particular point if i click on split and insert freeze frame there or probably any photo i want to in, um, insert there just anything you want to insert there that's what it's all about so now i split at playhead i will click on that plus it takes me to the transitions as you can see can you see there are so much so much so much to pick from there's just a whole lot to pick from unlike in shirt let me go to the font transitions and pick something can you see can you see it's only that white image that was affected can you see any that white image that's like this application needs you to concentrate to understand it it's a very sweet and interesting app to use look at it it's a very sweet and interesting app to use if you cool down so i love to use this particular thing when i'm doing green screen videos once i remove that green screen you will actually love the transitions the in animation the out animation they make your videos very very creative already showed you video overlay so let me go to picture overlay go to layer go to media it's so easy go to media it's just like you're doing video valley so go to photo click on photo there uh huh pick a photo go to all pick a photo uh, let me just pick this one i'll pick this one pick this one yeah the same thing you can reduce you can push it anywhere you can enlarge it just like in shirt can you see that it's interesting it's really interesting it's interesting you can put an in animation in animation out animation just like we did before i already showed you how to use this in animation and the out animation you can use overall animation which makes it's going to keep probably just pick just walk around the um animation op options okay um cropping mask shape i didn't pick a shape i left it at the um square can you see that it has removed the uh, margin so you can drag can't you just say anything like just the same thing you did with your with the video overlay you can do the same thing and i pick the shape now okay mm, does it go no i remove the shape so this is just how to do a picture overlay this is how to do a picture overlay so let me show you how to do music overlay okay let's go to layers i think um sorry text overlay let's go to layers i'll show you how to do uh effects let me show you how to do effects okay let's put effects uh we go back go back to layer can you see where you have effects there pick effects so you probably want to blur a part of the video maybe you want to pick effects i want to blur a part of the video blur someone's face basic effect okay let me pick the mosaic let me show you something i'm gonna be blowing can you see that can you see that it's blurring that part it's blurring that part let me say you don't want to do just like all these um, um, videos you see people's faces where you can you see um, a video but you can't see the person's face on the video so that's exactly how it is done 
that's exactly how it is done you can blow apart video you don't want people to see on the video you can drag it you can do the in animation you can do about all the things you do with your picture overlay in animation everything you can increase the strength of this by it's from the setting from the setting you can increase the strength of the blur blow the blur strength uh so that's how the effect works um so let me show you so let's do the text overlay you go back and then go to text to go to layers go to text from layer go to tech layer go to text you can see overlay you can you can put them um, smileys from the overlay go to text so i'll be typing anything uh, what do i type whatever just so my me belinda uh-huh then you click on good highlight it can you see that you can change the font the font type you can change it to whatever you can change the color see it now just normal drag move back move front like we've always been doing uh let's go to the color you can make it blue i can change to any color i can make it glow uh what again what again what again what again do we do I just move it can you see that I'm adjusting it I can reduce it I can move it to anywhere I like and about that right on that place where you clicked for color you can you even see the place for background and all those things there where you can put a label on this thing but I'm not gonna put a label here this is so easy once you can get this part then you see other parts so this is how to add a text this is that how the text you can move it as you can see you can put the in animation the overall animation the out animation uh, you can use all that you can split it to probably you want to move some part yeah you want to remove some part or you want to move some parts so you can do about everything with this text just like you did with picture overlay and video overlay you can also record your voice you can also record your voice see record down there can you see record down there when you click on that recording down there you can start recording your voice that's how you get the voiceover which is in this application you get a voiceover is in this application it's all recorded it's all recorded right now so that's how you get the voiceover is in this application okay can you see what i recorded is already there so to um add audio to add audio i don't have music on my phone so i really don't go there but that's where you can add audio from if you can access your audio your your media i use iphone and i hardly have music on my phone so that's how you can access your media from audio if you want to add music to your um this thing if you want to add music so that's just about it so once i've done with everything i'm doing on this application and i want to send it to InShot to crop out the kai master app all i'll do is click on the icon top right there to save keep on right click on the icon top right there it takes you to the next page which is you now switch the resolution to 4k to 160 30 so it can give you the highest resolution then you click on export just click on your highest what you see on your own your highest resolution click on export skip because you didn't pay for the app then you export so i sit down jg here on z filming jennifer diary now so they come come is it then they do one challenge say now nah, i've the bad guy i say i found that my pacing they say that they say that nah, 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 nah. i said nah, 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 nah. no problem write it down in the paper for me as long as they go give me money they say if you can pronounce it fast, go give you money. So fast, this is my own challenge. Give me my money. Can I hear? Yeah, na yeah. Can I yeah? Can I hear? Yeah, na yeah. Can I hear? Yeah, na yeah. Can I hear? Yeah, na yeah. Can I? Yeah. Say more calling me. Can her hair earn her an A? Can her hair earn her an A? Can her hair? and hot and a okay so um i actually i actually used kai master to extract the audio from the video and that was how i created the video i just played so here we go i click on plus i've already recorded the video i've already recorded the um, video on the green screen my own video while playing the video 
I collected online that's the video I extracted the vo um, audio from so I'll come here um, I'll just pick any Canva let me just pick any Canva pick any Canva I'll go to media I'll go pick that video recently uh, that I'll go pick that video okay let me just go pick this one good now that's the video to so I'll now go to layers from layers I'll go to media from media I'll now go and pick the video I extracted the audio from where this is it so I'll crop it to the parts I'll trim out the parts that I need trim to the left head here so I'll ensure that it's sinking I'll now come click on the video that I want to extract the audio from scroll here scroll here you see extract audio click on extract audio can you see it has extracted the audio now I can take away that video I can delete the video now I've extracted the audio so so I see I laying on top of it already so make sure you're extracting from the part that you need that's just particularly it is that's all virtually all Actually, I know some of you have this app, but you didn't know this about the app, so that's just my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah, these days I don't worry about my.